Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing on EGIK WM France Deck G456 game with Def underscore K, Astaroth, and Le Petit 3. So, um, looking at this opening pile, we've got Barricade today and Prudent. Rare Candidate and Prudent Merchant, which looks pretty good. Um, we could also take Mare Candidate and get Powerhouse back. Um, so I, I'm pretty I'm interested in both of those things. Uh, the best card might be Trailblazer, but uh, I just think Mare Candidate as the first pick here. So Prudent Merchant, Trailblazer probably gets taken, and then maybe Seasonal Worker or Organic Farmer. So I should wheel Artisan or Powerhouse, and both of those seem like a pretty reasonable follow-up follow to Mare Candidate. Early game today, yeah. Um, yeah, I went. I was going to stream last night, but then I was really tired and I instead went to bed and I woke up a lot earlier than normal. So, mm, yeah, I'm first picking Mare Candidate here. If I could get Prudent Merchant back, that would be phenomenal because then Mare Candidate, get the well, build the well, and get all the resources back crazy early. But yeah, I can definitely keep an eye out for stuff that likes guilds, you know, artisan artisan likes guilds. So. Should be a reasonable opening hand. Ooh. Okay. Um, I think there's like two... Well, actually... Maybe there's there's really good picks here. Okay, throw out Truffle Digger, Archer Woodworker. Okay, Stone Piler I won't take here, but I'll mention because it's a way to use Mare Candidate resources really well. Okay, um, Pioneer is funny because if Major Miners round two, I can Mare Candidate round one, second round two Pioneer, and then Major Miner build the well in round three. So, or in round two with Pioneer. So I could do something like that. Um, balance Farmer with Mare Candidate is fine. I mean, I'm taking Village Elder here, but knowing that I could wheel any of these, either of these two, I'm probably not wheeling Pear Peeler, but the fact that I'll wheel one of these three means that I'm going to get like a pretty useful card on the rebound, so... I'm liking how this is looking. Okay, so if Major Minor is adjacent to... Um, okay, so Godfather, if Major Minor is adjacent to Family Growth, could be uh, pretty good as well. Um, you get th There's obvious synergy to getting grain and building improvements at the same time. Um, I th the best pick, though, is Field Barter by a pretty decent amount. Now, Field Barter is a little awkward, makes it more difficult to spend my building resources on fields, but the card is is quite good, so it's what I'm taking here, most definitely. Ooh, um, huh. So, Don't buy a quarryman. <laughs> Fortunately, nobody went for that combo. Because, um, yeah, if someone, like, if Le Petit Tree saw new, new Village Elder was in the game, could have sucked all the stone out of the game. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, quarryman is, is good for Mare Candidate, bad for Village Elder. Yes, agreed. Um, I'm not taking quarryman here. And I'm not taking Stone Buyer. I think this pick is Graduate. Just looking at the fact that um, I was pretty happy with what I was going to wheel out of each of the last two packs. The Field Barter pack, I'm not so sure. But I was pretty happy with what I'm wheeling out of Mare Candidate Village Elder. I think this pick is Graduate here. Not to mention, the more times I can Family Growth with Room... The more times I am playing improvements, which I think is reasonable. Mathematician is not too bad, but 
pretty sure I, I like graduate here. Wow. <laughs> so powerhouse is gone. And prudent merchant is still here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Really good. Really good. And Pioneer is still here. Okay, actually, all three of the cards that I highlighted is good are here. So, what am I taking? Am I taking uh, Balance Farmer, Pioneer, or Stone Piler? And I think the answer is Pioneer. Getting, increment, getting random resources seems nice. Although Balance Farmer, I do have to say Balance Farmer with uh, Merit Candidate is good. I think though, I like, I like Pioneer. Well, I guess the problem with Pioneer is do I have too many cards that I need to play in the first five rounds? Because that, pi, playing Pioneer means I have to play Merit Candidate, Pioneer, Village Elder, Prudent Merchant if I'm going to build the well really early. Uh, but I guess with Graduate, playing Occupations early is not such a problem. I, I should not think of that as a downside. Now, and, and of course, with Village Elder in the game, I will absolutely love Start Player into Plowso or Start Player into Family Growth. Either of those will be amazing for me. And also, I can line up for um, Family Growth at the end of the game. Okay, so Carrot Farmer is normally pretty good, but I have Field Barter, so I'm not taking that. I like Godfather here. Uh, Ren if Reno is adjacent to Family Growth, it works nicely. Otherwise, of course, Plow So, and um, if Major Miner is adjacent to regular Family Growth, Godfather looks good here. Okay, so... Clay Supports is an interesting card to think about. So I was kind of thinking that I might not... I, I would probably only build one room and try to grow with Graduate. But now I'm seeing Clay Supports here and wondering if this is what I'm supposed to take. Of course, renovating, I can set up for building the well on my reno action. Uh, chocolate on the wheel... It, Probably gets taken. I'd be surprised if it wheels. Um, lettuce patch is good. Although with this hand, lettuce patch is less good. Because I'm not really interested in doing anything with crops for a long time. Reed beds is no good because the field barter. Straw thatch tut, no grain. I think this pick is supposed to be clay supports. But yeah, chocolate, I guess the other, the other thing about chocolate is that it lets me really spam occupations. Like, I could pioneer, I could try to push out the well really early, like I said. Like, pioneer, mayor, candidate, push out the well. And then use chocolate to um, play village elder and whatever else. Chocolate could actually be really good here. This clay supports is like pretty dependent on getting a good clay action. I have field barter here. So I guess the other thing about clay supports is I'll need a ton of reed. Because if I'm gonna clay supports two rooms and reno and field barter, that means four reed four reed versus three. Because field barter plus the wood room is three. Um I mean I gotta take clay supports here, right? I can't I can't justify anything else. Oh man, I love Village School, but Village School I'd have to throw away Graduate, and I think my hand is good enough that I don't want to do that. Um, Flower Pots, Absinthe, Trip to the Lake could all be playable here. Not, not Trip to the Lake, not Village School. This is Absinthe or Flower Pots, and since I already have clay supports. I'm going to need need clay, so I'll take absinthe here. Oh man, imported timber. <laughs> imported timber with village school. Don't play, just don't play any cards. That's the thing. I could just not play any cards. Um, unfortunately, unwanted goods of passing minor, which I don't really want with village elder. 
Same issue with Mini Pasture. Same issue with Corn on the Cob. So this is Apple Tree or Baking Field here. As good as these two could be, these like these cards are these two in particular are better. Um, I think Baking Field Apple Tree is good enough here. It's good enough. I'm gonna take apple tree. Yeah. Okay, um, I don't think I want corn rick. I'm probably not plowing a field until the round nine harvest. Negotiation is... Is it not terrible, this game? I don't know. I, I kind of want to take food bank here. Just the having to spend a stone for negotiation is pretty unappealing. And uh, negotiation means I'm not increasing my total number of improvements when I activate it. So I'll take food bank here. Classic watermill game, yeah. Yeah, this uh, could be a very, very good draft. It could also be... I need... A I need... I kind of need the I need very particular spaces, right? Like I need occupation. I need major minor to come out not in round one. If major minor comes round two, I need to get awk round one and round two. If I can do that, I'm feeling quite good about this game. If I can pioneer major minor when it comes out, I'm I'm feeling good about this game. Uh, wow, chocolate is still here. Wow. Huh. Definitely thought there were other cards that might have been better in this draft. Definitely have to keep Hammer in mind. Very, very relevant card to keep uh, keep in your mind. Um, yeah, well, these are all pretty junk. I, I have to say, Educated Sheep with Pioneer is not as bad as it sometimes would be. Because it gives me another space to trigger Pioneer on, which means I can take one sheep. Um, so that is something to, to think about. But Trip to the Lake is a very a very decent card. It's Trip to the Lake is good. I mean, I like Trip to the Lake. So, and yeah, I'm not too surprised. Passing miners are what's what remains here. Um, I think I would only play unwanted goods if. In this game, I'm only playing Unwanted Goods if I get another Passing Miner that I can't use. Maybe I take Corn on the Cob just because of that. Because I, I think I'm only playing Unwanted... Unwanted Goods could be fantastic for me. But I think I'm only playing it in a game where I get past a miner, Passing Miner that I can't use. And... Um, that's pretty much just mini pasture, and I don't know where mini pasture ended up. And, you know, odds are I will be able to use mini pasture. So, I think corn on the cob, even though I have a pretty low chance of playing corn on the cob, I think. I have an excuse to take one sheep. Yeah, that's true. It's not actively good, but it's like, eh, it's, it's playable, I would say. But, uh... There is a reminder for William. Hey Google, what's that reminder? Hi, William.
Uh, okay. Is there an oc that, or is there an improvement I can play? Round one. I can play food bank, but I can't play food bank after playing pioneer. But I think, oh, uh, I showed village elder on the play by play. That was a mistake. I think I like this. I'm going to major minor um, food bank second or, or start player food bank second action. And, uh, and I can mark cheap occupation. Or I can mark uh, another space. Like I can mark three wood or whatever. Or mark reed stone food. Just mark some place that I think is going to get taken a lot. Maybe not occupation in case people don't play a lot of ox, but yeah, I can definitely mark something useful. Mark Reedstone food. Um, I don't know if I want to mark Reedstone food actually. I'm not sure if that's something I want to do. I'll mark Reedstone food though. Like I want Reedstone food myself as well, but I have Pioneer as a way to get stone, so it's not the end of the world. So let's see what the round two card is. Also, major minor being here means it can't be adjacent to family growth for Godfather. So that hurt my Godfather a little bit. Uh, so occupation or two read here. Uh, I think this is two read in, and I'm hoping to get occupation back. But it might be to read into two wood. To read into two wood sets up for village elder building the first wood room and then pioneering fam on family growth. So I could do that. Astroth Woodworker. Beautiful. So I just need LPT to take three wood over expensive Auk and I get Auk back. And I can Auk Village Elder. Or Auk Pioneer. Probably Village Elder. Oh wow, Astroth Woodworking. Cheap occupation. Already. Huh. Hmm, that is an appealing space next round, a very appealing space. Especially when I'm trying to spam, spam occupations. Yeah, technically based on our new understanding of whenever, um, woodworker probably shouldn't be able to get activated, but, oh well, I'm not going to argue. That's an old, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, it says in the, um, in the compendium that you can do it right away. Uh, it's actually not in here, but the conventional w wisdom has been that you can activate it right away. Def start player Cornrick. Okay. Def might have um, imported timber. Might be playing a no occupation game. Ooh, woodworking day labor as well. Interesting. Interesting.
So no chance I'm getting cheap occupation, which actually makes it reasonably difficult for me to get, um, makes it reasonably difficult for me to get um, an occupation out this round. So I'm probably doing three wood into four clay. Well, four clay is probably not gonna be there. Probably this is three wood into uh, three clay or three food. Yeah, three wood into three food is fine. I wonder if Death took Powerhouse. Read Stone Food into Start Player into Read Stone Food. Yeah, maybe I'm not playing Clay Supports. It's possible. Maybe I'm not playing Graduate. Maybe I build a wood room and then build two clay rooms. And I don't need Graduate. I'm hoping LPT Start Players. Astaroth probably will not. Astaroth probably is taking food here. Hoping LPT start players into read stone food or to read. Because I don't want Def to build the first room in front of me. Building the first fireplace, okay. So if I wanna jump ahead here, I have to start player. I do have clay supports, but uh, no, I won't do that. Mm, three clay or three food here. I do need three clay at some point. Well, I need more than three clay at some point. Fish looks fine. Fish is fine. It's not exciting. It's okay. If Death does has have powerhouse, might not build here. Might read stone food again. Does build. Uh, Astros got out something like quarry, right? To be spamming occupation this early. Pretty sure. Oh, uh, I guess if Astros plays a fourth, it would be. Vastroth plays a fourth Auk, I'll say. It's probably Quarry. And then if you have Powerhouse and Quarry, that's more of a, a signal. All right, LPT will read stone food, which means I get cheap occupation here. Could be animal pen. Yeah, the reason I'm guessing quarry is just because of the seasonal worker and setting up woodworker on the seasonal worker this early.
Oh, Reedstone Food Untaken by LPT. Okay, so not interested in Reed for some reason. So why is LPT not interested in Reed? I'm going to play Prudent Merchant here. I could wheel four clay. I, I'm not going to take four clay here. I'll try to wheel four clay. Actually, you know what I really want? I want start player into six clay. Because start player lets me react to round five family growth with build or if it's reno with six clay. I guess Pioneer would have been a could have been a decent play. Could have played Pioneer and then thought about Reno round five. Maybe that's what I'll do next round. I could t if especially if start player gets taken by someone else. Oh man, there's gonna be th six wood and six clay next round. So I'm definitely taking start player. Is Reedstone Food going to go untaken this round? That would be quite annoying. When I played Village Elder, I've really incentivized everybody to take Reedstone Food. Uh, okay, I guess I'm taking Reedstone Food. And uh, LPT can have the 6 wood. And I can either 5 clay or build. see what it is it's stone so yeah I'll take uh, I'll take am I gonna take five clay here or am I gonna build hmm I think I'm gonna take five clay if family growth is in six then I can probably grow second but if family growth is in seventh I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be growing last I don't see a way around that so if I'm going to be growing last, I like uh, setting up um, setting up clay supports here. LPT still ignoring Reed. So benefactor or pasture lover maybe. Gonna we're maybe gonna see him fence fifteen here. I assume Def is playing imported timber. What am I planning to prudent the well most likely? Getting the three stone back in this game, considering I've played uh, Village Elder, looks really nice. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Oh, Astroth must have Eris. It's gotta be Eris, right? I think that's the only reason you could ever do that. Although Gimlet with sta doesn't, Eris doesn't ever really build stables, but, uh, okay. Like, I have to do this. LPT fences, uh, 15, covering five spaces. I'm guessing it's Pasture Lover for LPT.
And Def didn't play around Eris at all, because Def could if Def had passed Eris. Wow, it's not. Um I had to double check Estroth how many ass games Estroth has. I think after a thousand games you should know not to do that. Yeah. Oh man. That was Yeah. So is Astroth going to start player again here to get into... Yeah, I thought... That, yeah, me too. But... Not going to presume anything. I mean, I think Astroth's start player is, is pretty brutal. I think it's pretty brutal. Astroth's gonna first action build. Okay. Is he going after the sheep? With those two stables? Pretty sure LPT is taking the four sheep here. There's gonna be some pretty great actions for me in, in round seven. So I'll play uh, Family Growth Absinthe here. Yes. Yes, I would have definitely complained. I would have I would have said something. I would have said something for sure. But Def did, did not start player here. So something's going on. Def doesn't actually want to grow or doesn't actually want to start player. I'm not really sure which it is. Maybe okay, taking wood there makes sense if you're going to start player imported timber. Makes a lot of sense for that, but uh yeah, why is Def avoiding family growth? Does he think that Astroth is too poor to start player? Too hungry to start player? And Astroth... Okay, these guys know about something. I don't know if they know about Ninja, if Def passed Astroth Ninja, or what it is. But something, something is going on here. Or Def passed Ast Astroth Head of the Family, something... There's got to be some reason that they are avoiding start player into family growth, right? Right? There's got to be. Sure, I'll take two food and a read. That looks like a pretty great action. I'll put Absinthe on Cheap Ock. Uh, actually, no, LPT wants to play Pasture Lover, so not Cheap Ock. Um, maybe Absinthe on Reno. Oh, not Reno. Uh, abs on... Abs on three wood.
Must first move family growth. Yeah, but I'm not going to first move Rano. I want to play Pioneer before I Reno this round. And then I'll Reno. Um, Astroth probably does not need to start player, right? Because LPT seems like it's a pretty clear pasture lover into build round or pasture lover into build in eight. Astroth do anything? Oh, doing something now. Probably calculating their food. Yeah, I think there's a chance the three wood goes untaken and that I actually get to start player into six wood. I think there's a chance that that happens. That first move, Pioneer. Second move, Reno. Um, Reno well, third move chocolate. And I can do that if uh, Reedstone food gets taken. If Reedstone food doesn't get taken, I can't do that. But Reedstone food gets taken. Beautiful. All right. This two food, I think, is nothing. After this, I could put Absinthe on Expensive Auk because chocolate covers most of the food to use Expensive Auk. Astroth building the stone oven here. Okay. LPT. So I just need LPT not to. What is LPT? LPT could take three wood here. Could definitely take three wood. I mean, certainly I'm going to reno. What's my other move? My other move is, I guess if LPT start players, all three wood in a food. Let's see what LPT's move is. But yeah, probably, 
Probably LPT needs to start player or three wood because otherwise I put them in last, right? And they don't want to be in that position. No, they're going to play shovel worker. All right. Well, this is going incredibly well for me. Plus F, what am I taking here? Plus F wood. Or should I take F reed here? I think F wood is okay. So feed six. Six wood, two food. Seems like a pretty good move. Yep. Everything is going so well. It is. It is. It's going quite well. So I need to play field barter this round, or sorry, this stage. So probably I play Godfather. Um, I get a food from Reedstone food being taken. I'll probably take vegetable here to trigger pioneer. Six wood two food is a pretty gross move. Yeah, yeah, I was very fortunate that LPT wanted to shovel worker instead of three wood or start player that was it's honestly things are going incredibly well for me they're going incredibly well so probably field barter this round Godfather next round, graduate round 10, or play graduate and Godfather in the same round in nine. I guess if I do play uh, Godfather, then boar, food, resource, grain is a pretty good action. <laughs> Four food resource grain. Yeah, it seems okay. I have moved on to the next game board. What's the R15 action space? <laughs> HIKLJ, thank you so much for the Prime sub. 15 months, awesome. 15 months, really, really fantastic. Um, that pretty much tells you how long my sub button has been available for. I think it's been about 15 months. You were certainly my, I think you were my first sub. So thank you very much, HIKLJ. Round 15 action space is, um, oh, it's family growth. It's family growth and improvement. Or no, no, no. It's, um, it's an occupation space where you draw three cards from the deck before you play an occupation. That's what it is. It's got to be better than Reno Fence, right? <laughs> uh, man, four wood, six clay are both really good. But I think I'm going to stay, stay on target. Oh, I'm going to use the chocolate food, of course. Stay on target. Stay on target. Like, um, gold leader. Hmm. 
So Def is probably going to Reno clay oven jump home, right? I think that's a reasonable guess. Uh, I, I kind of like taking a clay here because then I have enough clay for the pottery and for field barterer. Also, nobody's taking wood, which is, yeah, okay, finally gets taken. V, C, F. All right, looks good. I took my food from Def uh, this round, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, it's cooking hearth, not uh, not the clay oven. Interesting, huh? Okay. Guess he's gonna rent out. Right? Maybe he so bakes, or maybe he's trying to sow to grain. Might have taken straw thatched uh, straw thatched hut. Imported timber, of course. Yep, fencing 15 here, which is really nice. Oh, doing it on Reno as well. Okay, so he could have a Reno payoff now. Could play, like, probably, he doesn't have the food for Officer, but he could have, uh, I don't know, what would I be afraid of? Uh, Silo Girl, he already has two grains, so Silo Girl's not as good as it could be, although it would be a ton of food and points. Uh, maybe Journeyman, although I don't think I passed Journeyman. Wow, didn't start player. The fact that he didn't start player imported timber is really good for me. That I keep, uh, start player, so I get to decide where Absinthe goes. Really good for me. Can anyone grow this round? LPT can grow. So maybe I should play graduate this round. So then my two moves are Auk, Auk, Boar. Yeah. Yeah, Ock Ock Boar looks good. And then I'm the first to grow in round 10. Interested in BMW at all? Uh, I think I'm going to go for the pottery over the BMW. I mean, if I take three reed, I can go for it. But the thing is, I don't have any use for this two clay. And to build the BMW, I'd have to take reed. So, I mean, if I get four reed in round 10, maybe. Sure. Like, if I get four read in round 10 and nobody else can build the BMW, absolutely. But uh, LPT just took it, so. Play graduate here. It's the last of my chocolate food.
So now I just need to take wood to fence 15 and uh, make sure that I don't have any negative points from Mare and I'm a pretty in a pretty fantastic spot. Pretty fantastic spot. Yeah, imported timber keeping Def away from the ox base and uh, and also the woodworker putting a bunch of extra food into the game. Both of which, very good for me. Very good for me. The, the day labor spam continues. <laughs> LPT family growth carpet. I'm going to take a boar that has plus F, uh, plus FR for trip to the lake, plus FRG on it. Feed six. Field barter uh, field. Yeah, but it comes at the cost of giving me all the resources I could ever want. It's giving Def all the resources he could ever want. There's definitely a cost there. Def building the pottery, okay. All right, well, I guess I'll build the BMW and maybe clay oven or a fireplace. Wow, I get six wood again? Jeez. Like, I'm not gonna say no. I didn't miss a day labor at the, or a reedstone food at the end of last round, did I? No, I did not. Officer. Officer is excellent. Officer is excellent. Makes sense. I didn't think he had the food for it, but he does now with his hearth and breeding sheep. What's my hidden miner? Uh, corn on the cob. Five clay is also nice. Yep.
Master out taking the five clay. So I'm probably going to family growth corn on the cob here. Maybe family growth apple tree. Corn on the cob might go unplayed. So probably family growth apple tree makes sense. Even though it means I can't really sow, but I think I'm okay with that. So maybe I should build the BMW here just to lock it up. Since there is a bit of pressure on the major improvements. So Def and I both ran out to or get to four people in the same round. And all my f uh, f plow, pretty much all my plowing is done and he has all his fencing done. And we both have five improvements. So in some ways we're even. Um, he's got the hearth, which is nice going forward. Pottery will be some points. But uh, I mean, I obviously have lots of food coming off of the board. I still need to do some work to sort out my feeding in 13 and 14, but uh, Def is certainly in a good spot for feeding. So it's it's close between the two of us, I would say. I have an extra three points from actually having the family member. I've got more food coming in from Godfather. We'll see. We will see. I don't win, something went terribly wrong. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I did pass, yeah, Village School is pretty fantastic here. It lets Def spam the rest of the major improvements. So I am a little worried about that. Number of rounds I stayed, start player and gotten six wood. You're, you're definitely right that that has been incredibly good for me incredibly good you're right hmm probably put abs on one stone next round i probably trigger pioneer on the stone space most likely i think that's probably a plan could also put it on fence it's an LPT can't fence, and Astro- uh, but you know what, Astroth does want to fence before his next round of stables come in, so. Abs on one stone, I think, round 11 stone space. Yeah. Could put abs on two read, I guess, but I don't really want to take two read. I'm hoping to do better than two read. Oh, LPT grows to four as well here. So we have four players growing to four in the same round. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, probably between Def and I, it's going to be determined by who gets the um, Village Elder points. Not sure about LPT. LPT needs uh, fencing help or plowing help. If LPT gets some plow help, has any plow help, then he's looking really good. Because both Def and LPT with no plow help need to really get a lot of fields. But yeah, Def getting the two cattle here is fantastic, of course. It's really fantastic. So I'm guessing LPT first move plow and a food. And so then I'll get four wood here, I think. Because I think Astaroth... Astaroth could Reno and build a clay room. Take six clay, Reno, and build a clay room. 
We could see that. But then if you're doing that, you're not growing this round. So it might just be build into grow for Astaroth. If De I guess if Def gets the two boar here, he's probably winning, right? So it maybe depends on if LBT LPT takes the two boar or not. Of course, I want to get my fencing done so I can also start taking pairs of animals. Astroth has occasionally just had a really slow turn every once in a while. And he's already playing quite slow. <sighs> yeah, every once in a while he's just having like a two minute or longer turn. Astroth takes the boar. Okay, well, they're definitely not getting back to death. So I'm guessing LPT plow in a food. And then I get the four wood. Which is great because then I can build the joinery and fence 15. Not plow, clay. All right. I guess LPT could Renault Joinery here. We could be seeing that Renault Joinery from LPT. Since he has Fence 15 already, so what else is the wood going towards? I mean, Stables seems like a reasonable option, but could still take more wood and build Stables. LPT three wood. I think it's I think it's stables. I think it's stables from LPT. But uh, I'll wait on my stone grab into major minor until I know more. You know what? I'm actually gonna take my stone grab now. Start player is available. Plus F. R, I think. FR lets me start player trip to the lake. F I was thinking joinery with FS, but plus FR gives me trip to the lake or food for the BMW. Both are useful. Yeah, Death Star player here. Yep, not gonna let me not gonna let me start player. Well, I probably first move start player next round. Well, last two moves could be two stone joinery. Two stone joinery is okay. Uh, could read stone food. Probably read stone food joinery is better than two stone joinery. Read stone food is probably better than two stone food. Astroth is fencing seven. Okay, so I don't get to fence until 12, which means I don't get to take these sheep. So maybe that move should have been uh, fence. I was hoping that I could get start player on the third move. Because these guys really haven't been going after Star Player, but uh, that's okay. I like Reedstone Food into Joinery. Fine, fine enough here. Okay, uh, Reedstone Food is taken. I get a food. Um, two Stone into the Joinery looks fine.
LPT stockbroker. Stockbroker, so he's going to take one sheep and a pair of cattle next round on the three sheep space. But it does mean he leaves the sheep behind, which means if I fence, I have a chance at getting some good animal grabs in 13. So that seems okay. Apple R for food. Feed eight. So, um, spending my last read is a bit dangerous because it doesn't let me start player trip to the lake. But I do have start player corn on the cob, so I feel like I should be able to do something. Also, definitely start player. Plowso will be fantastic. Trig it triggers Pioneer. It'll be a great space for me. Astra takes the three sheep. Ah, no stockbroker for Pioneer. Or for um, LPT. Pioneer, what am I talking about? So LPT could start player here, and if he does start player, and he family grows first move, then I get an extra grain on plow so, which would be fantastic. Passing deaf corn on the cob is not perfect here, but I'm going to fence and take one cattle. And the cattle gets me my grain back from the other one. How am I going to spend the one stone? I'll reno again, probably. Reno, reno fence round 14 is a, is a triggers pioneer for me, even if I can't use the fencing. LPT has carpet. Oh, of course. Yeah, good call. LPTs never start playing into family growth. You're right. LPT's also not shown any interest in plow. I wonder if LPT has... Um, Cattle, cattle plow, heavy plow, or it could just be March. March was in the draft, but the fact that nobody's really gone for plow that highly is, is quite surprising to me. Oh, I also should take a markdown on um, field barter. Got to field barter. Could also build the clay oven. So the other thing I could do, I was thinking Pioneer probably gets me a reed in a clay, or sorry, a food in a clay, and then I can build the clay oven just to build it. It uses my two clay and it gets rid of the, the last stone. That's probably a reasonable option if the clay oven is still there. I think LPT might go for it, just looking at his resources, but it's hard to say. Hard to say. So yeah, fe definitely fence into cattle here. Fence into one cattle. I guess there's a qu is there a question of the one cattle getting taken? Does Def need four food? LPT's building a fifth room. Okay. So no, probably not the clay oven because he would need an eighth clay to do it plus reno. Mm. I could plow and take a vegetable. I mean, I know I'm fencing here. If I know I'm fencing, then my other move should be three reed. I think three reed is better than three wood here. Is it? Who else needs reed? Nobody else needs reed. I should let the reed accumulate. 
take three wood. Three wood gives me the option of clay supports. Why wood? Because two of it is food. And then I can also build stables. Probably, I think, I like the idea of giving myself a one stable action in um, 14. Because it prevents the other players from banking up a whole bunch of wood. Since everyone's got their, everyone's got their fencing done in 12, that means there's probably going to be a six wood action in 14. I want to prevent the other players from being able to take six wood and then building three stables. And if I do that by leaving two stable two wood in my supply to block that stable's move. So it's Astaroth with Straw Thatched Hut. Okay. Definitely, definitely thought it was maybe deaf, but I guess when he went to stone it was clear that that was not the case. Oh, cattle got taken by deaf, it looks like. So I'll take one stone. Uh, one stone is dangerous. If I'm not going to reno do a stone house. But I think one stone is fine because it comes with a grain and I'll just reno do a stone house. I think it's okay. Plus FR for start player trip to the lake or plus FC is death will family growth is start player coming back start player could come back if start player comes back and I don't have I guess start player clay supports is what I do plus FC is fine yeah. Plus SF and then get four read. Uh, I still have the option of triggering Pioneer on Reno Fence, remember. Def's got March. Okay, I thought March might have got to LPT given. But yeah, means Def uh, obviously start players right away. Okay. So he's going to have a really good uh, Reno, uh, Plowso action at the end of the game. Astroth Family Gross, of course, yep. So one cattle comes with a grain for me. I could build a I could build a fourth room. I could play clay supports and build a room. Pretty sure that's not gonna be correct, but that is available to me. I'm gonna build the clay oven here. So Def and I are both tied in terms of number of improvements still. I have one, one remaining miner that I'm not that excited to play. 
about two remaining miners. Spending the two clay for uh, clay supports is fine. Spending the two wood on clay supports is fine. Because I do want to get rid of wood, of course, with uh, Merit Candidate. If I take this two stone here, Astaroth can't reno if I get the two stone, right? So then I'd only have to worry about LPT trying to double reno in 14. So I've, oh, the cattle gets taken again. Ah, uh, I just want to take the cattle, trigger my godfather. Yeah, too bad uh, Major Minor was not beside family growth. Yeah, two, two stone is not enough for Astaroth anymore. So I, I don't even need to take the two stone, I don't think. But what else am I doing here? Two stone in sheep? Or two stone in reed? I think I'm doing two stone in reed, right? Yeah, I like either Reno action. Reno improvement is good for Village Elder. Reno fence triggers Pioneer. So either is an acceptable option. Ah, uh, Death's got handmade for the last family member. Nice. Really nice. Oh man, I would love to take sheep after Death family grows. Because then it comes with an extra grain. But I'm pretty sure I have to take the reed here. I have to be able to Reno with my first action in 14 in case LPT tries to double Reno. Especially if he blocks Reno fence, then I, I would have to take Reed before Reno major. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So definitely has one more improvement, uh, minor improvement left to play. After that, he has to build majors, which, I mean, he definitely likes taking clay, but building majors also means um, He's spending pottery points. So he'll probably try to tie me. I don't think he'll beat me outright. I don't think he'll be able to. Although, if LPT returns the two clay fireplace, makes building multiple majors more doable. Yeah, I think I have to do this here. Read apple for food. To feed. And I get a field. Def's gonna play corn on the cob. Okay, Def might not have any more, like Def might have mini pasture. He might not have any more improvements that stick around, or he might not have been able to afford anything else, but him playing corn on the cob is, is fine. Might mean that he, yeah, might mean that he has, his only remaining options are these uh, fireplaces. Uh, I should eat a wood as well, right?
I'll eat a wood actually, not read. Yeah, so now I can clay supports or build a stable to get rid of that wood. I'm kind of disappointed. I really thought LPT had something that some plow help, but really, I guess decided that the fifth room and, and renovating the stone was going to be better. Yeah, I definitely thought he'd have March. Yeah, so that might be a game winning plow so there for Def. My improvement score is better. He's got some zero point improvements, whereas most of my improvements have points on them. But he's got all the animal types. He's got maxed uh, crop score, no negative. One more family member than me. It's, uh, it's tough. It's going to be tough for me to beat him. I can look at the scores right now and see how much I have to overcome. Yeah, nine point difference right now. So I pretty much have to beat him in, in Village Elder. Now I do have another two points, so it's a seven point difference. If I beat him in Village Elder, it's a four point difference. So there are, like he's gonna run out of point actions here. He's going to run out of stuff that's worth points. Like, Def definitely wants six wood into stables, because otherwise he just, like, doesn't have that much to do. Yeah, the, all the derping around on the family growth queue seemed super weird. I still have points. Yep, like, I have the field barter. I have a three-point family growth action. But the problem is my actions are not worth, like, much more than... Like, I have two three-point actions, so that closes the gap. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. I think it's pretty clear that I want Reno Improvement, since I only have four actions here. So the problem with Reno clay supports is I can't stable block. Reno imp trip to the, to the lake, probably, yeah. But the thing is, I also want to take two different types of animals as well, right? Like I want to take cattle, I want to take two sheep. Astroth plows here. Okay, Astroth really wants another so bake action, I guess. With stone oven. I guess that's how he feeds. He, need, he needs a so bake action. LPT probably reno imp fireplace. Yeah, that's the problem. Is that I'm going to not be able to take it. I have to get rid of the wood. Yeah, I definitely do. That's why I want to be able to react to uh, Def taking six wood with a two stable. With a one stable move. I want to be able to do that. Man, taking cattle here feels bad. Family growth is three points. Uh, it's only Astaroth and I that want to do that. Cattle and grain is a good move for me, though. It's a really good move. Let's do that. So I have outright lead on on outright lead on village elder. So stable, stable cattle sheep as re my remaining three moves. Yeah, Def takes the six wood. Yep, I'll build a stable. So I'm hoping to get cattle and uh, sheep or family growth. Any of those three. So is acceptable, but less exciting.
So I'm two points behind Def right now, assuming that he does not tie me on Village Elder, because I have the field for two points. And I don't have to eat any points from my feeding. Oh no! Astaroth building two rooms! Wow, I was not expecting that at all. Did he have four reed, really? Did he really have four reed? What? Oh, straw thatched roof. Oh, or straw thatched hut. Yes. I'll play supports. Yeah, that's fine. I can play supports or eat a wood. Yes, both are options. But yeah, if I had seen that coming, I should have definitely played play supports on um, somewhere else. Yeah, and I can no longer take the sheep. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have too many negatives, unfortunately. I needed to get more uh, more improvement actions. Or I needed to get um, my fencing done earlier. Yeah, unfortunately, just not able to take, uh, not able to get pairs of animals this game because when I was ready to take animals, everyone started taking one animal at a time. Oh well. Oh well. In spite of uh, the fact that I was first all game, got a bunch of six wood with very little work. Um, yeah. My game was not efficient enough. Which is, uh, pretty sad. Organic Farmer. Yeah, that seals the deal for Def. That's, that puts him at, like, 49. Even with having to eat some animals. Man, with getting gifted, being gifted family growth and everything, ah, uh, this is quite disappointing that this that this hand is not winning. Uh, maybe maybe it was a bad pioneer and godfather game. So that's that's definitely part of the probably part of the problem. Bad pioneer and godfather game with major minor flipping in round one, and with uh, just godfather's been awkward. I've only triggered it once. If I family growth in Godfather and cattle myself, yeah, but I'm not even sure God uh, cattle's gonna make it back at this point because these guys are. Oh, LPTS chief. Okay, that's good. Fencing earlier might have been nice. Yeah, so that I could actually use Reno fence at the end of the game here. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right about that. If I end this game with only two vegetables and three grain, considering like. Field Barter got online early, and I played Godfather. I think this is the big problem, is I'm just not scoring enough from crops, considering Field Barter and um, Godfather. When I Considering the timing that I played Godfather, like round 8 or something, like, I should have more green points in this. The fact that I don't is a big problem. The fact that I could end the game with only two green points, that's a problem. I should have had more... More Plowso action. If I got Plowso at the end of the game here, I, I have a very good chance. Def has educated sheep. Okay. So yeah, he did only have passing miners left, it looks like. So that guarantees, that pretty much guarantees I get Village Elder out, right? The fact family growth flipped next to animals and I don't have animals tells the story. Yes. Yeah. Because I, I can never get a pair of animals. Alright, I can give myself the village elder points. 
I'm going to do my last field barter plow. Astroth corn on the cob. Yeah, Astroth's game was quite ugly. And the fact that LP LPT ends with just one field, man, that that feels that feels horrible. Feels horrible for LPT. So 49 for me. It's a good score, but uh, not good enough. Good enough for second, but not beating uh, not beating death. Yeah, what if losing out on the pottery was also really bad? Because the joinery was never going to be worth more than two points with Mare Candidate. So if I have pottery and BMW, then I can take uh, building more building resources. Maybe just the fact that I didn't get on family growth. Maybe I needed to start player earlier. When did De Def start player in 11? The fact that family growth flipped was... So it seems like every time someone does an action, it's like reloading the whole board. Yeah, it seems like every time Def does an action, he's like reloading the whole board. It's weird. Uh, round 11. Took two cattle for a smooth. And then I took four wood. Yeah, so this four wood probably should needs to be a start player action or what was my second move it was the stone yeah the it, this this should have been my start player action this is this is my big issue here if this is start player into family growth i'm winning that one stone action was really bad Yeah, missing sheep. Missing too many points here. Yep, like clay, like I didn't need to play clay support. So if this, if this, if I didn't play trip to the lake, and I had instead played clay supports, I could have. What could I have done? There's not too much I could have done. Not there weren't that many points left to me unless I do a so action. But so action was only one point. Plow was not available. Yeah, there was just not uh, not many points. I just don't have enough animal points. I talked to I, I've said it enough times. I just did not have enough animal points to win this game. Not enough animal points. Not enough crop points. Those are the two main problems. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I'll do another game. I'm going to take a short break and uh, fire up another one.